Okay, there it is, people. Guess what that is? iStencils.com coupon code. I'm not going to tease. Here it is. It's active for everything you put in your shopping cart at iStencils.com for three weeks starting now. This code is going to be active. It's case sensitive, so that's a capital P, A T T I 1 5 for 15%. No space in between, capital P. So go have some fun with that. Go shopping and shopping and more shopping while this is active. Where can I put this so that you can see that? There we go. Okay. <coughs> so my package arrived today. Thank you, mail carrier. I stencils and she sent me a load of goodies. Um, quickly, I'm going to go through some of these and then we're going to get started. But this is that uh, one of the 3D ones that has a where can I put this? You can see through this down. There we go. Um, has kind of a swirl wave design through it. Awesome. Love this crackle one. That will be excellent for that little pop of black I like to do. Something graphic. Kind of a bubbly flower sort of a thing. Very cool. I love this one too. This is another kind of a 3D. Just kind of wonky. It's a little off. It's not round. It's not square. It's just itself. And this one I thought would be so cool for when I pull off all those shadows. And I want to see a lot of what I'm pulling off but still have a design to it. I just wanted to try something different. So I went with a big splat. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And this one is really different too for um, a pop of black. Just kind of a streaky, sketchy, Zorro thing. Um, that's kind of fun. Almost like flames, but not. Um, and this I thought would be another one for those uh, shadowy pulls when I need. I want to show a lot of blacks back um, open space, but still um, some pattern to it. And this one for that as well. So um, those were the eye stencil brand that she sent me. Oh, somebody's texting me. Um, and then she sent me one that I liked from Alex Hansen, which uh, they also carry at Eye Stencils, and I thought that would be kind of fun, kind of wavy funkiness. Um, and then a few from Badass Stencils, um, and they are badass, let me tell you. If I can get them up here. Here's what the packaging looks like for Badass Stencils. I'm not making it up, people. It's badass. But look at these, and what I like about these is that the outside of the stencil is also kind of part of the pattern, right? So we're going to play with these today and see what we get out of that too. Look at that one. Anybody like steampunk gears? Like how cool is that? A little artist palette shape with some splats and kind of animal prints and and a piece of my previous project stuck to it already. Mm. And I love this one. Look at that edge on that. That's going to pull up really cool. And then more crack, more crackles. Um, two different kinds, but that kind of a jaggedy sun ray design is yummo. So, all right, let's get started. Um, oh, my mojo came to see me. Hi, baby mo. How's my mojo? No, don't bump the camera, honey. I know, I know you're a nice big boy. Okay. Let's get started here. They're barking, so I think their daddy may be home. All right, let's throw something down on the plate. I don't know. What do we want to do? Let's do something, like, really against my grain. Let's do something earthy tone for a change. Oh, and that one's not even open yet. Okay. I love these colors, but I never, I never pick earth tones. I don't know what the problem is. I like that bright, flashy stuff. Oh, damn the weedies. Ugh. There's another top, a couple shades of brown. These are just my little cheapy acrylics that I got at Michael's for like 97 cents on sale or something. They're Americana. Oh, hello. Wasn't me. That was the paint bottle, I promise. Although Mojo is running for it, so mm. doesn't bode well for my integrity there, but what the heck. Okay, already I don't like these colors, but 
You know what? We don't care, do we? Let's get it on there. <coughs> Clean off my ruler. Let's start with this bad boy. I love these 3D ones. I I'm telling you guys, if you go there and shop and use this coupon code, oh great, and it's going to move every time I take a piece of paper. Mm. I'll flash it up there every once in a while so you'll see it. Um, but you treat yourself to at least a couple of those 3D designs. I'm telling you, and I mean, they look as good on camera, I guess, as they do in person, but I don't know. There's something about those that just, it's like it's that Trump loy fool the eye kind of stuff. Um, ha! See what I'm talking about, people? Awesome. Let's throw that up there to dry. I don't think, well, there's a teeny bit more paint on here, but I mean really teeny weeny. Let's see if I can pick it up. And I might make this one of my little clean up little bits and pieces here kind of page because I'm telling you, if you saw my note card uh, video I did with some of my, um, mm, not bad, some of my prints, um, that I just use, I just keep a paper over on the side and whatever doesn't pick up and it's like not a full print, I pick it up with it. Doesn't matter what color or what shape it is. I just keep cramming it on there. And I'm telling you, when you fold that into a card, a note card and make an envelope out of it, it is really stinking cool. Got to tell you. Um, clean off this. little bits of there and there's the opposite pole oh I don't know how people can't like that and look at all these dots on my first pull I've got shadows already so that's gonna be cool so I'm kind of put this off to the side let's do let's do something else what are we gonna do I have so many choices let's do this one um let's do something warm still let's go oh my get that off of there let's go with something orange and this doesn't have the um, this is a pbo but it doesn't have the um, iridescence in it this one's just called it's quinquadrone scarlet hello scarlet oh lord mm. that was a lot of paint that way i gotta tell you this was really bright, as I remember the last time I used it. Um, let's put a little of this in there. What the hey? Come on. Come Oop, hello. There you are. Okay. Let's smush this up. Oh, we're squeaking already, people. We're squeaking already. So, um... They sent me a ton of stencils again uh, to play with and demo. Um, and I'll tell you what, if you guys jelly plate, and even if you don't, I mean, there's so much stuff with your art journaling or, you know, card making or just about anything that you can use stencils for. But if you have a jelly plate, mm -hmm, let me tell you, you're going to want to be doing this with some eye stencils. It's just really fun and eat up with yummy let me tell you oh I meant to put that on a brown one see that I'm telling you not the smartest oh that's cool oh look at this where it pulled up some of the circles like a cleanup print already me likey let's put this over top of this one this this little remainder on here and see what we get out of there that's a pretty color combination it's really bright but still kind of that earth warm tone going on there. <coughs> mm, not bad. You can see some of that PBO orange shimmer in there. Possibly. I don't know if you can or not, really. Um, you know what? Let's double whammy that one. Let's do the same here. Make a little sandwich out of this one, too. Clean up my plate. Clean off the bulk of the paint off my stencil. Um, see what we get. Oops, hello. Um, 
several people have asked me if I clean my stencils. I am a dirty girl. Mm. And no, I don't clean my stencils off either. Eh. Um, you know, I, when I do spray inks and, and that kind of good stuff, um, I usually blot them off, and that's pretty much enough to clean them. Um, but if I cleaned my stencils in between every pull, that's all I would get done. I actually think that once the paint dries and builds up, oh, yummy. I'm looking at this yummy. Um, eh, not bad. A little bit of black, and that's going to be one of my favorites, I can tell. Um, I'm going to try to put these under here so I can try all these different ones that they, they've they sent me. Um, oops, hello. Got a little tangle going there. Uh, but no, I don't clean the acrylic paint off my stencils. And I think, in my opinion, once they get kind of painted up, let me show you one. Um, it gets this like a patina on it that almost makes it, like this is a kind of a floppy one because there's so many swirly cutouts, but it gives it more body um, and handles easier, I think. That's what I think. Um, so no, I don't clean off my stencils. Some people do, but I, I think it would put me over the edge wacko because it's just too much too much work cleaning, not enough fun. Mm, doesn't equal out for me. Oh, you know what I want to do? One of my favorite combinations. And another one that's not open. Oh my. Oh, I should really think about doing some video prep, people. I gotta tell you. Fly by the ass of my pants all the time and we can see how that works out. I think we can all agree. I should perhaps plan a wee bit more before I get this puppy rolling. So I'm going to do another one of these, uh, st that odd kind of swirly cockeyed 3D design. I think that, oh, Probably should have shaken that one up. That's not going to work. Hang on. Where's my paper towels? Let me just get that off of there. Okay. Good enough. These do separate. These Americana paints. And I, I do forget to shake them sometimes. But you save yourself a step if you shake. I love turquoise and brown. Or any pretty, pretty much any kind of blue and brown. I do, I do. Oops. A little crunchy piece there. I don't want to get that into the mix. All right, let's see what we get here. Oh, I like it. Me likey that one. Oh, God, Lord. I got to earl this puppy. <laughs> this does seem to work the best, although it is the one that one of these pegs eventually comes out of here and the whole thing goes flying, but I don't know. I still like the, the way it rolls. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go back here to this one, the first one. What the heck? This might be too much of the same kind of thing over it, but you know what? Got to give her a try. And, ha! I was right! A little bit too much, but still, not a bad thing. Let's put some of this over this red. How bad can that be? One may ask. Well, give me three seconds and we're about to find out. This is one of the eye stencils repeating designs. So if any of you guys have told me that you've, you've some of you have told me that you've already gone out and gotten an order in of some of the stencils, you can see around, around the edges where they all um, have those registration marks where you can line up the next repeat. So if you want to do it on like tissue paper and have the whole tissue paper um, sprayed with ink or uh, if you want to daub paint through it or whatever um, or use the jelly plate for that matter but you can line up using the registration marks huh, that's not bad not half bad alright let's clean this one up ooh I like that um, not all of them do that like this round red flower one that's not a repeating design and meant to interlock and repeat, but a lot of them are. And when you go, uh, when you go out there and you shop and you put things in your cart, 
when you get to the the page for the description of that one particular stencil it will show you if it's a repeating stencil or not if you have any desire to use it that way so you know you're getting one that will do that um don't forget in case somebody's just joining patty 15 15 percent discount for your entire shopping cart as many carts as you want to check out with for the next three weeks starting right now uh today what is today today is saturday March, oh Lord, I don't know the date. What's it, the 8th of March? Oh, hang on. Check the old handy iPhone. Good Lord, I don't even know what day it is. Uh, March the 9th. What do you know? It's not the 8th. Hmm. So, um, case sensitive, capital P, A-T-T-I-1-5. Use it. Go out there and do what I do. Um, huh, go a little crazy. But um, there's so many stencils, like I was saying before, um, literally there are thousands of designs. So as you're going through all these pages, what I would strongly recommend is if you see something you like, throw it in your cart when you see it. And at the end of your shopping, go to your cart. Sometimes I got $500 worth of stencils in there, a little bit much, but... Um, Mm, excuse me, I felt a tickle coming on. But, um, you know, you can sort out the ones that are over your budget, take out what you want, factor in that 15% discount. And, you know, it's easier to take them back out than it is to go back, look through 2,000 stencils um, and try to find, um, you know, the one that you liked. Because I'm telling you, that'll make you crazy. I'm trying to save your... Save you some gray hair because there are just so many. So this is why I want this stencil to pick up all this yummo stuff on here. Can you guys see that? All the shadows from all those previous prints. You know, I still see people in videos um, that wipe this off. And I'm like, no, don't touch it. Please don't touch it. Use that stuff. It's good. So let's try this. My Titan Buff, just my my choice for these clean up, mop up, I don't know what you want to call them. I've heard them called, I don't know, people use different terms. People sometimes call the, the second time, the second pull that you get a ghost pull. And I guess that's because it's, you know, lighter and a little more translucent than the first pull because it's not as saturated with paint. I've heard people call this deal, um, oh yeah, um, a ghost print, but I don't know what we call it. I don't think it really matters. It's yummo, whatever you want to call it. All right, this I think is going to be really cool. And that's why I like those stencils with those big, wide, open negative spaces to to pull this design and i'm sure you guys have seen me do this many times before hopefully i'm not boring you with this but i just want to try to run through what some of these patterns of these stencils will produce for you um and again as you can see they're brand new i am playing with them for the first time so i'm learning as i go as well but you cannot go wrong with these stencils they're nice they're sturdy they're, they're packaged really nicely when they come. I think you might have seen that packaging that I showed you with the, and I save all those bags. I got a ton of those bags, um, which are good for like 12 by 12 papers and projects. Oh, hello, don't get in my water. Projects that I'm working on. Oh, there we go. Got a little avalanche. I have got to come up with some kind of better deal here for the drying of these poor things. Okay, I'm really pushing on this one with, the, with these knuckles of my fingers to try to get that cardstock pushed down in between that stencil to pull, and I want that wet paint to adhere to that dry paint and just have the suction pull it right off of that plate. Completely clean the plate and give me that all those shadowy designs on this pull. So let's see, peeps. What do we have? Oh, it's working. Oh, yeah. Oh, mamacita. 
look at that puppy. Would you look at that? That's some good stuff right there. That is some good stuff. So now we have that same pattern of goodness underneath the, the positive part to the stencil. All that on the plate, the underneath of that has those same designs in it. So I'm going to pull one off of there. You know, I've noticed in some new videos that I've been watching, I think I've seen every single jelly plate video that is on YouTube. Um, a lot of people don't use their hands. They actually just use their brayer for everything. I, I don't know. I just, being a dirty girl, I guess I just get in there with my hands too much. I don't know, but I don't know that there is a, a wrong or a right way, but this is kind of how I was shown the first time and seems to work out for me and I can concentrate on some of those spots with get one finger in there if I want to. But I may tr give that a try one day and see if I notice any kind of difference. God forbid I miss out on a new technique. We won't want that to happen, will we? So here it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it is. That was a lot of paint still on that plate and all those different designs. So there you go. Positive and, neg and negative, and the plate is pretty much clean. There's a couple little teeny weeny bits, but I mean teeny weeny bits, not a lot. So I've got a couple up here. I'm going to go to black, and I think I'm going to do crackle over those. I've been itching to try this crackle uh, pattern. So let's crackle, shall we? There we go, black. I didn't look black for some reason. All right, I love black paint and black ink. I still stay and I stand by my idea. Oh, I'm recording, babe. I stand by my idea that a little pop of black really gives depth and brings out uh, the other colors as well as, I, I don't know, visually it just, it's then definitely in the foreground. You see the black in the foreground pushes everything else in the background. And if you have one that you don't really like, oh, that paint smells. Ooh, that's got a lot of odor to that. I think I'm gonna switch up here before I am totally intoxicated. I say some things a little inappropriate when I'm stone sober. Hmm, don't wanna risk that one. So this, that little bit of black that's gonna come up through those cracks, I think is gonna do big things to some of these. Let's try, let's try this one. Hey babe, how you doing? Okay, all right, I gotta really kind of push hard on this one to get down in those little, the little cracks. Let's see if I can lift up that black in between there. Oh, okay, thanks. What did we get? Okay. Thank you. All right, let's see the magic. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now you can see where this actually slid on me. I felt it sliding. So I got a little bit of a blurred design down there and not a crisp design, but that's still not bad. Not bad at all. So let's take this light one that I've been working on. I'm going to scoot this down a little bit. Sound like I'm at my gynecologist's office. Scoot down, scoot down. I'm trying to line that up a little better so I can get do this to my rest of my hand. Yeah, what the hell? If I do, I do. I don't really care. Just save me from scrubbing later. I got this new hand scrubber. Um, when I was at a class last weekend. Um, what the heck? was the name of that stuff. I'll have to put a link in or add something down the bottom for you later. It was like a pumice um, ground up in the the stuff and it, it did such a good job and it actually exfoliates your skin and your hands feel oh, nice and silky when you get out of there. They're crying for some moisturizer by that time but it does clean them pretty well. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This one 
that I think is getting a little bit too busy. Do I want to do that to this one? Ah, eh, what the heck. Ooh, look at that. Let's pull this off. Put this down. Now this is going to be almost all black when I do this with the color sneaking through those cracks. So let's see what we get. This one, I'm going to try this because my hands keep getting stuck on those little uh, openings of that where they're jagged on here. And I don't want to tear this because I love this design. I do, I do. That's kind of wild looking. Huh. It looks like something, but I don't know what. Probably an MRI of my brain. I don't know. Oh, wow, look at that. See, that's almost all black, but that little bit of that color is peeking through there. That'll make a pretty cool something. Now, I don't know what the hell that is, but something for sure. Now, this is one. Did I not have one of those prints? I thought I did. My God, I never know what I'm doing. Let's try here. I just want to clean that. Oh, wow. That actually would make a really cool note card. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little of that uh, tealy, greeny stuff from the other one that I put down there pulling through. So I'll keep this over here, and I'll use that to mop up a little bit more. Meanwhile, that left a really cool, almost kind of a road map ghosty thing down there. But my dear husband just came home. <coughs> Pardon me, choking on my orange soda. Um, and kind of whispered in the background, I brought you some lunch. So I'm going to take a break and I'll be back. In the meantime, go out to that shopping cart. Fill it up. Grab your 15% discount with this code. Patty, 15, no space, capital P. I'll be back.